and I'm still going to be just uh, letting people in. So excuse me if you see me leaning forward. I've actually been having some problems with Zoom because they did this last week, they changed all the settings. So I'm still trying to learn and work out what they've done, but hopefully that won't affect you and we can have a nice smooth session that you can enjoy. I'm also joined by Nelly. She's actually stretched out on my mat, as you can see. So she's really giving us a good example about how to rest. So our session this morning is all around the theme of self-compassion. And with this in mind, I'd like to invite you to start by coming down, if it's comfortable for you, to a comfortable lying position, but with your legs on a chair or a sofa or whatever works for you. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you so you can uh, look and then after that when you get yourself comfortably positioned you don't need to keep looking at the screen because hopefully my voice will be enough so if you've got a blanket or a cushion that's really helpful and then just take yourself to your chair and I always suggest you come in sideways because that's just a little bit easier on the nervous system and then from being sideways, you just swivel round so that you've got your legs at about a 45 degree angle. And then you can place a blanket or a cushion under your head and maybe a blanket on top of you. So I'll just give you a moment or two while you get into a position. And as always, if you, you know, I'm suggesting this morning that you lie on your back with your knees on a chair. If that doesn't feel right for you, you'd rather lie in a different position or remain seated. That's also fine. So this uh, journey of self-compassion, it always starts with listening in. How am I and what do I need? So do what feels right for you in this moment. Always remembering that everything I say is a suggestion, it's not an instruction, and that you are your own CEO, not me, not anybody else, just you. And yoga is an opportunity for us to practice self-compassion, and it starts by actually tuning in and asking that question, how am I, how am I feeling, what do I need? And if the instructor or Fiona is saying, do this, and I'm saying at the moment, line your back with your legs up a chair, if that doesn't feel right, do what does feel right. The important thing is that you get yourself comfortable because we want to do something that's very nourishing for you. And then once you're in position, just take a moment or two to tune in to your body. Come into your body if that feels okay for you. Observe the places where you're touching. Make any final adjustments you need to to make yourself comfortable. And just observe how you're feeling on all levels of being, emotion, emotionally physically, mentally. And then if it's okay for you, begin to slow the breath down. If it helps, one hand to the chest, the other hand to the belly, breathing in slow and low to the hand on the belly. And then I'd like you to observe if you can feel any areas of resistance to your current moment experience. And this is usually quite often unconscious. It's just below our conscious awareness. So, for example, have you got any areas of tension, maybe? Or pain? 
quite commonly fatigue. And if it's helpful, just take a hand. If there's somebody, it might not be a physical feeling, but if it's somewhere physically, take your hand to where you feel that you might need a sense of self-soothing. And then have a sense of breathing in kindness and friendliness to this particular symptom that you or it might be more than one. Maybe you don't have one, but just have this sensation of, of breathing in kindness to this area or to this feeling. So what we're aiming at is we are doing our best to bring acceptance to our state of being so we're not resisting anything but that's kind of like at one level at the next level we're developing an idea of compassion and the word for compassion in Sanskrit is karuna and while you just lie there breathing in kindness I'm just going to chant om karuna namaha which means I am self-compassion. And if you want to join in with me, please do so. If you want to take your hands to your heart, you do whatever feels right. Om Karuna Namaha And while you rest here, I'm going to give you a reflective question. And the reflective question is, what area in your life could you bring more self-compassion? Is there maybe a particular circumstance or something happening where you could be kinder to yourself? Maybe you've not been aware of it. It might just be something simply about cancelling something and not pushing through something. And I say this because this is quite a typical scenario for those with ME and long COVID. Just think how you can introduce more self-compassion and acceptance into your daily life. And then just reflect for a moment or two. Do I have an inner critic? Is there a voice which is undermining me sometimes, sending me negative messages, maybe about my state of health or how I should be? And can I also be compassionate to my inner critic and realize it's trying to protect me, but it doesn't need to? How can I talk kindly to myself like I am my best friend? And then take your hands to your heart, one hand, then the other. And just say three times silently to yourself, I am enough. I am enough. I um, enough. You 
And then feel on every exhalation that you are relaxing and releasing, softening the body. Be aware of the jaw being soft, the eyes softening, and the scalp around the back of the head. And then very gently, just roll your head as slowly as you can from side to side. Just being aware that the slower you can move the head, the more benefit this has for releasing the neck because we're engaging the parasympathetic division. Be aware of the neck if it's maybe different on one side from the other and just make this an observation with curiosity and compassion. And then center the head. And then just move the shoulders slightly. You might like to roll them or wiggle them away from your ears or draw them together. Just do whatever movements you need to, just to help the shoulders to relax. Shoulders are often where we hold our tightness, the shoulders and neck. So for five slow breaths, I'd like you now to breathe into the shoulders. So visualize that you're breathing in light on the inhalation and on a slow exhalation, visualize that the shoulders are relaxing. And then become aware of the spine and its position on your support. And let the left and right side of the back release either side of that plumb line. And then think about the arms. So you might have the arms away from the body with the palms turned up. Or you might like to rest the palms on the belly. And then just have the legs which are on your chair relaxing, the feet relaxing. And then we're going to do some nourishing somatic holds from your resting position. And as always, everything is always optional. So always do what feels right for you. We have a principle in yoga called Ahimsa, which means non-violence. It's one of the first principles of yoga. And it starts with ourselves. We're always kind to ourselves, not... I mean, violence sound, sounds a bit extreme, but you know, even when we're making these negative messages to ourselves, we're undermining ourselves. And likewise, if I'm suggesting you want to do something and you don't want to do it, then that would not be kind. That would not be compassionate. So if it's comfortable for you, take one hand to your forehead and one hand to your heart. 
and take three slow breaths here, visualizing that the breath is nourishing you on every inhalation. And now take your hands and just cup around the cheeks. So you're just holding the sides of your face in the palms of the hand. And again, take three nourishing breaths as you hold yourself with tenderness and compassion. And finally, take one hand to the heart, one to the belly. Three slow breaths here. Again, this sense of nourishing yourself. And then I'm going to invite you to chant like a lullaby to three places in your body. So this is going to be um, around the belly, at the heart and at the eyes. So if you would like to take your hands to your belly and I'll chant first, then you chant after me. We'll do this three times to the belly. Om Karu. Namaha. In your own breathing rhythm, your own pitch, take an extra breath if you need to. So three times to Manipura Chakra. Take your hands to your heart three times, like a lullaby. Oh, Karuna Namaha. And when you're ready, palm your eyes. So just cupping your hands loosely over your eyes. And to your third eye, you're chanting. Om Karuna Namaha. In your own breathing rhythm, your own pitch.
And then we're going to do a little bit more of our breathing practice. So again, it's optional for five breaths. I'd like you to hum the breath out through pursed lips. So inhale through the nose, hum out the breath. Up to five times in your own breathing rhythm. And then we are going to visualize just for a few breaths that we are breathing through alternate nostrils. So you're not using your hands for this, you're just using visualization. And I'd like you to visualize the breath as white light or prana, which is coming in and nourishing you. So next time you breathe in, visualize that you're breathing in through your left nostril, As you breathe out, visualize your breathing out through your right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. Just visualizing this. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Just do this for a few breaths in your own breathing rhythm. Visualizing the breath in and out through alternate nostrils. So this is a very uh, cleansing breath. It's said to clear the energy channels the nodges, helping us to feed our chakras with prana. Leave the breath now, come back to normal breathing, and then just take a moment or two to tune in to how you are feeling now. Mind, body, emotions, energy. And again, just be aware if you have very subtly brought in the inner critic. You know, maybe your mind is still racing or feeling emotional, whatever it is. And maybe that's not the case. Maybe the practice has already had an effect in helping you to become quieter. But however you are, just see if you can bring in this quality of compassion. And, you know, when life is challenging and difficult, that's really where we need to bring in self-compassion because it's so easy to be beating ourselves up. Actually, this is when we need to be kind to ourselves. And this starts on the yoga mat because this is where we're doing our observation. We have the time to be quiet enough to start to watch the patterns of the mind. And before we come 
to our yoga nidra. We're going to do a couple of very gentle movements, but as always, this is optional. So if you want to remain resting, please do so. Otherwise, just draw one knee, then the other into the belly and then roll to one side and just stay there for a moment or two. And then if you would like, and when you are ready, please come up into a cat position. And if you prefer, you can of course do this from a chair or you can just visualize it. But if you'd like to do a bit of movement in cats, just take your hands under your shoulders or slightly forward and have your knees under your hips. So you're in this lovely tabletop position. Just take a moment or two to come into the body because you transitioned. And just feel support under your hands, that connection of your hands with your support, your knees, the top of the feet. And then just making length between the crown of the head and the tailbone. And we're just gonna start by circling our hips. So just make some slow movement with the hips. Circling one way. Then the other. Really nice just for introducing a little bit of mobility into the back. Because when we're fatigued, when we're ill, obviously we need to rest more. And we can't be very active. But it's good if we can just keep a bit of flow going on in the back. And you can experiment, you can make your move, your circles small, you can make them bigger. And then we're going to go into a figure of eight with the hips. So just make some figures of eight circling around. And then come back to center. And then just sway the hips from side to side. And then rest down in any way that's comfortable. So I would normally suggest you rest in pose of a child, but I know not everybody can do that. But if you can, you bring your feet together, you part your knees and you sit back towards the heels, resting the head, forehead on the floor or if you've got eye pressure problems, then you make two fists and you rest your head, your forehead on your fists. And if that's not comfortable, you might like to lie on your back or your front. Just take some resting breaths. Remembering this idea of self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. And then we're going to come back into cat, if you would like. We're just going to move very softly into a classic cat posture where we work with the breath if we can. So we inhale and we lift the heart slightly and then exhale and we round, arch the back, navel to spine. Inhale, lifting the heart. Don't take the head too far back. It's more about just the top of the spine, the heart lifting. Exhale, round the spine, navel to spine. So just a few movements like that in your own breathing rhythm. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral cats and come back to rest on your back with your knees bent, feet about hip width apart and arms out to the side.
And from this position, we're just going to take some very gentle twists, if you would like. Moving with the breath. Just become aware of the difference between the inhalation and the exhalation. Keep the shoulders aligned on the mat. Have the shoulders about shoulder level. Uh, don't have them any higher because then you unconsciously tighten the shoulders. So keep them down at shoulder level. And then take an in-breath. And on your next exhale, take the knees over to the right and roll the head to look over the left shoulder. Breathe in, center the head and the knees. Breathe out, knees drop towards the left, head rolls to the right. The knees don't go all the way down, that's fine. Inhale, center. If you want to work more gently, bring the feet together. Exhale, knees and head go in opposite direction. If you want to work a little more dynamically, you have the legs further apart. Breathe in, center the head and the knees. Keep the shoulders connected with your support. Exhale, head and shoulders go the other way. And just do this a few times in your own breathing rhythm. If there's any pain or discomfort, then rest out, don't push through. When you've moved an even number of times on both sides, come back to center and take one knee then the other over the belly and just rock out the spine from side to side. And then just rest in any way that's comfortable for you. And we're going to go into our deep press practice now. So I'll just give you a moment or two to make yourself really comfortable. So as always, that might mean that you go into a bed or on the sofa, you get extra blankets or eye masks or extra cushions under your knees, under your head, socks, whatever you need to make yourself comfortable. So just make any final adjustments to make yourself as comfortable as possible. And if you have a sankalpa, a positive resolution, then say that to yourself three times now. Repeat it quietly and internally to yourself. And just bring your awareness to the spaces between your body and the earth beneath you. Invite your body to soften and rest. As you begin to surrender into relaxation, notice spaces between your body and your support becoming smaller and smaller as your body relaxes more and more.
We're now going to begin our rotation of awareness and all you have to do is to listen to my voice and allow your awareness to follow my voice as I guide you from point to point within your body. To start by moving your awareness to your mouth. Become aware of your tongue, any taste in the mouth. Lower jaw. Upper jaw. Lower lip. Upper lip. Any sensation in the mouth. Space between your lips. Right cheek. Left cheek both cheeks, the sensation of both cheeks together. Right ear, left ear. Forehead, right temple, left temple, both temples. Top of the head, Back of the head, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right eyebrow, Left eyebrow, space between the eyebrows. The hold of the head, the hold of the neck. Now go to your right hand, become aware of your right hand. Right hand, thumb, Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, Right armpit, the right side of the rib cage, right waist, right hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot. Top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Go to the left hand, left hand thumb, second finger. Third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, left armpit. Left rib cage, hip, left thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, 
left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, groin, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, mid back, upper back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, right inner ear, left inner ear, roof of the mouth, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, middle chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, groin, whole spine, the whole head, right arm, left arm, both arms together, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, both legs together, whole front body, whole back body. Become aware of your whole body and its position. Whole front body, whole back body. Be aware of the whole body. Now bring your awareness to your breath. If that's comfortable for you, just follow the gentle tide of your breath without alerting it. Now visualize your breath as a golden light flowing up and down your spinal column. With your inhale, golden light flows from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And with your exhale, it flows from the crown of the head back down to the tailbone. A cosmic tide of prana. Stay with your breath as it flows up and down your spinal column, golden, vibrant, radiant, healing. Now bring awareness to the sensation of coolness. Right leg cool. Left leg cool. Both arms cool. Torso cool. The whole body is cool. And all at once, your body becomes warm. Right leg warm. Left leg warm. Both arms warm. Torso warm. The whole body becoming warm. Now let that go. Imagine that you are standing outside in nature and you feel your bare feet on the earth. 
was standing in an open meadow surrounded by a lush forest. And you tip your face upwards to feel the warmth of the sun. And you smell wildflowers in the air. In the distance, you see a path leading into a forest. You walk towards the path and step into the forest. Once inside the forest, your eyes adjust to the shade of the trees. You follow the path as it continues in front of you. Sunlight shines through the trees and birds sing in the distance. You continue on the path and you see a small opening in the side of a mountain that you are going around. And in this opening is a cave. You feel drawn to the cave and you walk towards it. Within the cave, you see a single lit candle and you realise you stumbled into a sacred temple. You sit down on the earth or you might prefer to lie down and a sense of calm washes over you. You feel at peace with all that is. You feel great compassion for yourself. You need nothing from the outside world. You may be gazed into the candle flame, dropping into deep meditation. In the middle of the flame, you see the purest golden seed untouched by the flame. On the surface of the sea, see that your positive intention, your Sankalpa is inscribed. Gaze into the flame once again. That seed is now in your heart. So if you have one, repeat your positive intention, your Sankalpa, three times quietly internally and with meaning. Gently guide your awareness back to your physical body lying on the earth. Become aware of your breath. Your body slowly breathing in and out. Without opening your eyes, become aware of your surroundings, the earth beneath you. As your awareness comes back, Invite your breath to very slightly deepen so you're breathing slow and low. When you feel ready, stretch your arms overhead and stretch out your legs, pointing your toes and enjoying a full body stretch. Slowly Roll over into the fetal position on your right side. 
and just stay here for a moment or two. If you'd like to stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, when you're ready, begin to come up into a comfortable seated position. And then just to bring yourself back, rub your hands together, palm your eyes, open and close your eyes into your palms. And then just look around your space, giving yourself time to come back. And then we're going to close our practice this morning with a little bit more chanting. So I was thinking about doing the caring breath, but then I thought that might be a little bit too complicated today. So I'd like to keep it simple. So what we're going to do is take the hands to prayer position at our heart. And we're going to breathe in and take our right arm out to the side, following the fingers of our gaze. And then we chant the palms back together. Oh. Karuna Namaha. Remember, you can take an extra breath if you need to, your own pitch. Inhale the opposite arm out to the side. Follow the fingertips of your gaze. Om Karuna Namaha. Once more to each side, we'll do this together. Inhale out to one side. Cross the hands on the heart, maybe dip your head down slightly, close your eyes and think about tenderness to yourself, kindness and self-compassion. And another reflective question, how can I bring more self-compassion into my life? Can I be kind to myself? Can I interrupt the inner critic? if I'm aware of it, with tenderness and stop it from berating me? Can I talk kindly to myself? Can I act kindly for myself with my own best interests? Because we cannot look after other people unless we look after ourselves first. So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, I think I said on my mailing, I'm away for the next two weeks on a course with my teacher, Cal Stubb who's coming over to England. So um, I'm going to be on a 10 day intensive with him. Not quite sure how I will manage all that, but fingers crossed. But I've got the wonderful Amy Davis who is going to be covering. So on the next mailing, I'll send out her link for you and she'll be here next Monday and the Monday afterwards. So meanwhile, I wish you lots of love. I hope you have a fabulous two weeks. I know everybody loves Amy, so you'll be very safe with her and uh, I've got here Nelly behind me if you're looking at the camera she's just been also doing her rest activism um, so just remember self-compassion please remember self-compassion because we cannot heal without it so take care everybody I'm sending you lots of love namaste thank you